Well, the question is, what's the wildest exam interruption that's taken place? I, don't, I can think of a couple of things. I'm not sure that they were really interruptions because Penn Law School students tend to work through anything that happens in an exam room, despite the fact that we ask them if, to come out and get us, get help if anything does go wrong. But the things I can remember that were particularly odd uh, was uh, probably uh, 25 or 30 years ago, I walked in to end an exam and there was a crazy dog uh, on the stage in room 100. Room 100 at that point was the big classroom and it was open to the street. It was open to Sansom Street. And on an April exam day, the door was open and a dog got in and was sort of on the stage snarling and snapping at the students in the front row who were writing in their blue books. And I walked in to give the five minute warning and students were there going, go away, go away, go away. And they were writing, writing, writing. And the dog was like, ah. We ended, I got around the dog and ended the exam. He didn't bite anybody, but students didn't complain. The other thing I, that happened around that same time was a homeless guy got in uh, into the classroom and he was sitting on the stage smoking cigarettes and crying when I walked in at the end of this four hour exam and here's this guy like and crying. And I said, what are you doing? And he said, this is so interesting. He was looking at the students taking their exams. And after the exam, after I got the guy out of the room, I asked why nobody came to get me, and they said they thought it was the proctor. We don't proctor exams, and we certainly wouldn't proctor an exam with somebody who's going to sit up front crying and smoking cigarettes.